Taylor Robinson, a high school student at Fellows High School, organized a walkout to spread the message about the new sex ed curriculum that the Ontario government is trying to force upon the students, saying that most of this should be taught at home. She believes that this should be changed, and over 90 students supported her cause. Uh, so currently the Ontario government is in the, I guess, process of changing the sex ed curriculum um, and it's really going back to kind of the bare bones of what the sex ed curriculum should be uh, because they believe that parents should be teaching it at home uh, and they also believe that the current 2015 curriculum is really pushing a political agenda against children. I was really inspired by the bigger protests in Toronto and Ottawa, but being in such a small conservative town, I didn't really know how much of a take it would get if I actually planned something like this. Um, but I mean, I kind of realized if I wasn't going to do it, no one was. I think we just really want people to know that kids do have a voice and kids do have a say in what they learn and what happens to them. Uh, I think we kind of just wanted people to realize that it's more than just adults, honestly. Like, there are kids out here who care about what they're learning, and there's kids about who care about politics and the government. And I don't think a lot of people realize that. A lot of the backlash that we did get was a lot of adults saying that this should be something that's uh, left to the adults to talk about. And I think that kind of proved our point a little bit, that people don't realize that kids know what they're talking about. Um, so I think we did upset a lot of people, and we did get a lot of people talking, but that's what we wanted. I think that really proves that we uh, got our point across. Some of the problem lies in the terminology used in the new curriculum versus the 2015 edition. Some teachers are scrambling to figure out what they can and cannot teach. Reporting for Kojiko News, I'm Trevor Riley.